We're with Natalie Hoff from the SPU women's basketball team. Natalie and the Falcons have had a couple weeks away from action here. We're getting ready to head down to California next week for two games. Uh, Natalie, let's talk about these past two weeks. I know you were supposed to play a game uh, this past week. Didn't work out. What have you guys focused on in practice to get ready for the rest of the season here? Um, I think in practice we've just worked on cleaning things up for the upcoming game on Monday. We've also worked on being competitive uh, within our team and, um, like, getting after it t together, okay. even though we don't have that, like, other team playing that we're playing against. Okay. Now, you got to have kind of like an inter-squad scrimmage on Wednesday. How important was that, and what did you get out of that? Um, it was really important for us because um, we need to have, like, a game situation, and that, like, put us in a good game situation. And Sasha told us that we need to take the opportunities that we have and uh, play our best when we have the chance to play against each other. Yeah. Even though it's not a game, we had to treat it like a game. What has college basketball been like for you so far now that you're kind of getting into your first season a little bit? How has it been for you adjusting to this level? Yeah, it's definitely really different. Um, my first quarter, I think school was harder for me. Right. And also juggling bas having basketball practice every day. But um, the team has been really supportive of, like, when it comes to helping the freshmen out and everything. Okay. So it's been a pretty easy transition. All right. Yeah. Has there a game that's been has stood out for you as one where you felt you played really well? Um, yeah, I think the last game when we played Western Oregon, yeah. I think everything started to gel more for me, and I feel like I was more aggressive in that game, which was my goal. My goal is to be more aggressive and to not shy away from maybe taking my shot when I get it. Okay. Now, is that something you have to remind yourself? Hey, Natalie, be aggressive about that. Does that come naturally to you, or do you have to remind yourself to do that? Um, I definitely am very competitive, so I feel like I have like an aggressive side, but sometimes I'll have to remind myself, go for those rebounds, like get that, like move your feet on defense, like little stuff like that. Okay. And then I see that when I like remind myself on defense, it shows up on my offensive play. Okay. Now you seem to really enjoy rebounding out there. Talk about that. Has that always been a part of the game that you really like? Uh, yeah, I think rebounding is really important. Um, my dad coached me growing up, and he said that when he played at Oregon State, um, a big role for him was rebounding, and he was always known as the, the rebounder. And so I think that when you rebound and you, like, get a whole bunch of rebounds in one game, then you start to play better on the other side of the floor, too, because it just transitions. All right. And you also did volleyball and track along with basketball. Uh, it, obviously, hoops is what you've chosen, but um, what did you like about those other sports that you enjoyed? Uh, growing up, I always wanted to play volleyball in college. I think that was like my ultimate goal. But towards the end of my high school career, I found that I actually enjoyed basketball more. Okay. And I, I mean, I really liked bas or volleyball in college. And it was really, f I, I think it was more of a social aspect too for me. Okay. I think that it was really fun. And volleyball was really big at our school too. But um, ultimately, I like basketball. Oh, okay. What position did you play in volleyball? Um, I was an outside hitter. Okay. Yeah. What's more fun, getting a kill or getting a basket? Um, <laughs> right now I'd say getting a basket, <laughs> okay. but definitely there's a good feeling that comes out of getting a kill. All right, all right. Your dad played basketball. You lived in three different countries growing up. Was it France, Germany, and Korea? Is that right? Talk about that a little. Was there one of those countries that you really enjoy that you definitely want to go back and maybe visit again someday? Um, I was younger when I lived in Germany and Korea, so I don't really remember that as much. But when I was in first and second grade, I lived in France, and I remember that a lot. And I remember like the things my dad had to go through, like playing professional basketball overseas, yeah. and uh, living there with my mom and having her um, like homeschool us. And okay. I definitely want to go back to France because I remember little things about it, and I want to see like where we were living at that time. Okay, very good. Uh, two games coming up next week in California, Cal State LA and Concordia Irvine. What kinds of things is Coach Simonson emphasizing in practice to get ready for those two games? We've been really focusing on defense and transition defense. Um, we're also implementing a zone in our play so we can switch it up when we need to. Um, we're just focusing on uh, denying and being aggressive on ball. Okay. And you've gotten through your first quarter here. How do things go academically for you, adjusting to college level work? Um, it's definitely been really hard. Um, th like, there's a lot of homework, and finals was like a crazy time too with like right. practicing. But um, I had a really good first quarter, I think. All right, very yeah. good. All right, Natalie, thank you very much. Thank you. All right.